Kotak Nifty 100 Low Volatility 30 Index Fund Will investing in this NFO add more value, more return to your portfolio or add more risk to your portfolio? Let us find out the risk and the benefits involved in this fund through an in-depth analysis in this video. Hi, welcome to HolisticInvestment.in. We help individual investors like you to make the right financial and investment decisions to reach your financial goals faster and smarter. So the Kotak Nifty 100 Low Volatility 30 Index Fund NFO opens on 22nd May 2024 and is open until 31st May 2024. So let's look at some of the key features of this NFO. So this is an open-ended fund type. It has Nifty 100 Low Volatility 30 TRI as its benchmark. Also, it belongs to the category of index fund. So the fund manager for this NFO is Mr. Satish Dondapati. The minimum application amount for investing in this fund is 100 rupees. The risk meter for this fund is very high. Now let us understand what is the investment objective of the Kotak Nifty 100 Low Volatility 30 Index Fund. So the primary investment objective of this fund is to provide returns that before expenses closely correspond to the total returns of the securities as represented by the underlying index which is the Nifty 100 Low Volatility 30 TRI subject to tracking error. So as we have understood the investment objective of this fund, we have to understand what is the investment strategy and how they are going to implement it. So the scheme is a low cost smart beta index fund that tracks the nifty 100 low volume 30 index passively as this is an index fund especially in passive fund. So it aims to achieve a return equivalent to the underlying index while minimizing tracking error. So to better understand the investment strategy, first we also need to understand what is the portfolio, investment portfolio of this fund made of, uh, what is the structure, what are the top 10 holdings this index has. So the top 10 companies this index has is ICICI Bank Limited, Hindustan Unilever Limited, Asian Paints Limited, ITC Limited, Titan Company Limited, Britannia Industries Limited, Sun Pharmaceutical Industries Limited, Nestle India Limited, Ultratech Cement Limited, and Reliance Industries Limited. These are the top 10 companies. Obviously, Nifty 100 is a large cap index. So all well-known companies mostly will are here. But out of that, based on low volatility criteria, 30 stocks are shortlisted by the index. So that way, if you look at it, top 10 companies here are well-known companies, large cap companies. And another good news is that here in the screen, you can see that each and every stock has got less than 5% of exposure, which means in that way, the stock level concentration seems to be low. So there is enough diversification at the stock level. Now let us move on to the sector representation of this one. So in the sector representation, we can see from the screen what sector are representing this one, which is FMCG, fast moving consumer goods, financial services, healthcare, consumer durables, information technology, automobile and auto components, power, construction materials, oil, gas and consumerable fuels, construction and chemicals. So if you can see, uh, look at the screen, the first three sectors, FMCG, which is fast moving consumer goods, financial services and healthcare has more than at least 10% of uh, allocation given to it. Especially FMCG has 24.87% uh, of allocation. So these top three sectors itself amounts to the 50% of the overall allocation. Like for example, in 100 rupees, 20 rupees goes to only these sectors itself. So on a sectoral level, there is a huge concentration. But the thing is, concentration can add either more risk or more return. So to see if this index is capable of adding more risk or more return, let us analyze further. Here on the screen, you can see the returns as of this index as on 30th April 2024. You can see the graph chart representing the returns and you can also see the tabular column. From the tabular column, we can understand that the in this calendar here, 3.386 is the return it has this index has given, and the past one year it has given 34.1% return, and for the past five years it has given 16.8% percent of return and since inception of this index it has given us 18.23 to 3 percent of return so in the long run it can give you recent decent return but in the short run it can has given you uh, you can see not that much of a great return because being being an 
equity fund when you invest for a short term in the the market cycle will go through a phases of low or low return or a no return or even negative return but if you see in the long run it has the potential in the long run it has the potential to give you inflation beating return so this is what we can conclude from this return chart now as we have seen the investment objective the investment strategy the key features of this fund now it's time to understand the pros of investing in this fund like what are the advantages we can gain by investing in this fund so the first point here is this fund invest in a diversified portfolio that are likely to deliver long term growth with minimal volatility because their stocks chosen here are based on the low volatility criteria so it invests only in companies that generate economic value so if you are an investor who is very ultra conservative and you do not want to take any type of risk and are looking actively to add a passive investment to your core equity portfolio then this index fund uh, might be suitable for you also compared to an actively managed fund the returns from this fund are relatively stable with less volatility also this fund is free from the fund manager bias also as this is a low volatility or low volatile companies a uh, chosen fund it's important to note that low volatile companies usually represent relatively stable businesses with strong fundamentals and business models as it is managed passively it is expected to have lower expense ratio than actively managed mutual fund schemes so as we have looked at the pros of investing in this fund now we are going to look at the cons of investing in this fund because it's equally important to understand both the pros and cons before investing in anything especially the cons so the first point here is that as this is an index fund which invest in equities it might not be suitable for a short term investment if you are an investor who is looking to invest in this particular fund to achieve your short term invest financial goals this might not be suitable for you because in short term this kind of in, uh, equity fund will be very volatile where the market can go from no return to negative returns so if you want to achieve higher returns it's better to stay uh, committed to this fund by investing in for the long run so for short term investment it's better to, uh, to avoid and might not be suitable for you so then uh, also as this is an index fund this may underperform its index due to certain factors like tracking error etc so this fund will not be able to deliver market beating returns the most it can do is match the returns of the stated index it is trying to replicate also based on the market outlook the fund cannot change the allocation dynamically like what it says is for example if you invest in an actively managed fund uh, let us assume that the market is going through a rough period where the stocks they have chosen for that particular fund is performing poorly in the market what the fund manager will do is see which other stocks are performing well and see how they can allocate the different stocks and see how they can play to the market strength at that time but for an index fund you cannot do that you cannot do change the dynamic allocation very dynamically based on the market out you cannot play to the market strength or weakness because you're only trying to replicate the index right so you cannot do what an index an active fund manager can do index fund it also cannot do any analysis on the underlying stocks and check the soundness of the company in which they are going to invest like for an actively managed fund they will use the method of active stock selection they will completely analyze and see if this is fit or not and how the company is performing and everything before including in the investment portfolio each and everything will be each and every stock will be analyzed but for an index fund they will not do anything analyzing the individual stocks there individually they will only kind of try to replicate the complete index here so you cannot do uh, that kind of research or analysis so for ex- uh, comparison purpose you can say that uh, active funds can take calculated risk by analyzing all stocks and choosing the best while an index fund cannot do that so the major drawback of index fund investment is tracking error since it may not also perfectly track its index so then index fund is not flexible and will not be able to take any course corrective measures during the correction or market crash now as we have taken a deep insight at the key features the investment strategies the pros and cons of the kotak nifty 100 low volatility 30 index fund now it's time to understand what is the final takeaway from this analysis should we invest in this fund or not so the final takeaway here is this fund is suitable for an ultra conservative investor who is not willing to take any kind of risk but is willing to invest in a passively managed fund but if you 
but uh, our personal opinion is still if you're an ultra conservative investor who thinks this fund might be suitable it's better if you invest in a similar index fund that has a lower expense ratio and a lower tracking error because as an nfo we still do not have a proven track record for this fund but for a similar index fund we might have the uh, proven track record with a more uh, comparatively lower expense ratio or a lower tracking error so you can opt to invest in those kind of funds compared to this also uh, from the final takeaway what we can understand is as an actively managed fund it might have potential to deliver higher returns compared to a passive fund like the kotak nifty 100 low volatility 30 index fund because this is an index fund it uh, might not potentially deliver higher returns compared to an actively managed fund. Also, if you're an investor who is expecting dynamic fund management and looking for investments that can beat the market, then those kind of investors should avoid this kind of fund because it might not uh, give you the dynamic fund management and the market beating returns you're looking for. Also, for any kind of investment decisions you want to take, if you involve a professional financial planner or a professional mutual fund distributor in the process, they might be able to make the entire uh, journey of investment process very easier and smoother for you because they will be able to consider factors you might not yourself consider. Because first, they will look at your risk profile, like how much risk you can take. Next, they will look at your investment objective and your financial goals and see if this fund particularly aligns with those goals, will help you achieve those goals and have the same investment objective as you. Also, they will importantly look at the overlap ratio. The overlap ratio between your core investment portfolio and the investment portfolio of this fund should not be more. It should be less for you to invest. So they will look at every single detail and see if it aligns with your goals and will help you achieve your goals faster and in a smarter way. So involving a professional will help you uh, personalizing your financial plan with more personalized investment strategies. So a professional will help you uh, achieve those things. So it's better if you invest in a professional and involve them in this process. So if you're someone who's looking for professional guidance on your financial and investment decisions, then you can absolutely book a one-on-one -on -one complimentary consultation with one of our professional financial planners through the link in the description. Also, if you are someone who is very eager to learn more about financial and investment decisions based on the leading experts of the finance industry, then also there is the good news. We regularly conduct free live webinar on this subject with our leading experts. So you can also register for this uh, web free webinar through the link in the description. So if you like this video, hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So we will be back with more financially beneficial videos. Thank you for watching.